In this video, we will discuss the problem from a palindrome. The problem says that we have been given a string and we have to find the minimum number of characters that we need to insert in order to make the string a palindrome. So let us talk about a case. Let's say if we have just a string as A. If we have just a string A, then it is already a palindrome. So the number of insertions required would be zero. If we have a string AB, then we can say that what we could do is we can have two choices. Either we can make it like ABA. So we can insert one A at the end or we can do it like this BAB. So we can insert one B in the beginning. These are the two choices. So basically we can have one insertion and then the string will become palindrome. But suppose that if we have the string as a, B, C, D. Okay. If we have the string as A, B, C, D, then how many insertions will we require? If we have A, B, C and D. Okay. So in this case, we can do one thing. Either we can keep this D as the middle part and we can insert C, D, A. Right. So in this case, this A becomes this, this B is same as this, this C is same as this. Okay. The other choice that we could have had is that if we have A, B, C, D, so we could make A as the middle here because all the characters are different. So A as the middle, then B, then C and then D. Okay. So this becomes same as this, this C same as this, this B same as this. So we needed three uh, number of insertions. So what can we say? Let's say if we talk about a string that is, let's say geeks. So if we talk about geeks, so in this case, how many insertions would be required? So you can see that these two characters are only the same. So basically what we have to do here is in this case is when we have to find uh, the subsequence that is common, right? We have to find some path that is common. So in this case, if we see these E's are common. So let's talk about another case. Let's say if we have to talk about, uh, let's say, let's say this word. Okay. The, the, like I've made, taken a random word. Let's say W O R D W. Okay. So in this case is how many characters would I need to insert? If I see, so this W and this W are same from the end. Then if I start from this O, so it does not have a O here. So basically I'll insert an O here. Then if I write this R, so I do not have a R here. So I can write a R and then I will have a D. So what can I do? So basically what we will do is let's say if the word, if, if a particular word like this word is already given. So what I will do is I will, I will reverse this word up first of all. And basically if I reverse it, so it will be like D R O W. Okay. So basically what I will do is I'll find, I'll find the longest. First of all, what our task is to, I, uh, our task is to find the length of the longest common subsequence between the given string and the reverse and the reverse of the given string. Okay. After we have found that this out, then whatever is this length, whatever is this length, subtracting N from the LCS, we will get the number of insertions that are required. How? So let us take another example. Let's say if we had something like, if we had something like, let's say A, then B, then A, and then A. Okay. So if we have this particular string, so we can see the three characters are the same, right? How? Because if we consider a string as A, let's say, let's say if we consider this string only, if we consider A, uh, like a string, like, let's say we consider A, B, B. In this case, how many insertions would be required? We will be required only one extra insertion that is this a here so we have to find the minimum number of insertions so first of all what we will do is we'll find the longest common sub uh, subsequence between the string and its reverse okay after we find this so whatever is the length we sub uh, like whatever is the length of the string from the length of the string we subtract this lcs to get the number of insertions that are required so let's check this out again if we had a b c and d okay so other string if the reverse we talk about so this would be dc B and then A. So this particular character is there. Okay. This particular character is there. Now what we will do here is if we observe. So these are the only two characters that are the same, right? In terms of sequence, because if I see, uh, so like basically in terms of uh, order of their occurrences, only this D is same with this D. Okay. Other than this, rest of the elements are exhausted. So LCS length is one. And actually the length of the string is four. So four minus one when I do. So I'll get nothing, but I'll get three. Okay, this is what will happen here. Let's suppose that instead of this, if I had a, a string like geeks. Okay, so in this case, I can see that these two words are common, common, right? So basically, this would be S K E E G, right? So I'll get this part is common, this part is common. So once I get this, uh, like the length of the longest uh, common sub subsequence would be nothing but two, and the total length is five. So five minus two, two if we do, so we need to insert three characters. How? So let's quickly talk about it. So let's say this was the geeks string. So that means this E and E is the same for this G. I'll require a G here. Okay. Let's say for this K, I require a K here. And for this S, I require like uh, one second. 
if we talk about it properly so if we have e and e right so for this g i require a g here right then for this s i require a s here then for this k i require a k here so basically three words were there that were not matching with the string and its reverse so i'll basically get them and for doing this for checking all the possible choices because i have to i have to find the lcs so i can do it using recursion basically but it will give me a time limit exceeded if i do the normal way let's try and check this out let's do it without using the without using the memoization part so if we do it like that so first of all what we'll have is we'll will first of all have the we have been given the string one right what we will do with this uh, what we will do with this string is we'll first of all find the string reverse the string so s2 is equal to nothing but s1 first of all we'll initialize it then we'll reverse the string uh, one uh, that is stored in string two so we'll write re we'll write the reverse that is s2 dot begin comma s2 dot end okay then what we would do is we would simply start so how are we going to start so we will say that uh, int the lcs length will be nothing but we'll call the recursive function starting from the 0 comma 0 the uh, starting from both the indexes like one index i will be pointing to the first string to the like let's say string one is there and string two is there so i will be pointing to the starting of the first string and j will be pointing to the starting of the first uh, second string if they both are the same then we will do some things if they are not the same then we'll try to do other things right so if they both are the same then both of them will move forward right both of them will move forward to i plus one j plus one otherwise if both of them are not same so one time we will try to move our i here and j will remain the same and one time we will try to keep i same and j will move forward okay so that is these are the choices that we'll have in the recursive diagram so here we will pass the string one comma string two okay once we pass these values once we have passed these values so what we will do here is we will simply return nothing but we'll return uh, the size of the string the size of the given string minus the uh, length of the longest common subsequence between the string and its reverse so let's quickly write the code for it so we'll have the int uh, recursive function that is the that will find the length of the longest common subsequence between the string and its reverse so i'll be starting with the index i and i'll be having j as well then i will have a string ampersand s1 that is the first string and i'll have string ampersand s2 as well and then what we will do is if uh, suppose that i is equal equal to s dot size right so if i reaches the end of the string okay if i reaches the end or if it happens that s2 dot size the or if it happens that j is equal to the end of the string right so if j is equal to equal to s2 dot size basically the size is same it is nothing but n so if i reaches the end or j reaches the end then there will be no common subsequence so i'll return zero otherwise what we will do is if uh, suppose that s1 of i is equal equal to s2 of j okay so in that case what we will do is if they are the same in that case we will simply return from here we will return 1 plus we will call the recursive function now for i plus 1 comma j plus 1 comma n comma m uh, like basically s1 comma s2 s1 comma s2 right this is what i would do otherwise if they are not the same then i have two choices what are the what is the first choice so the choice one that i have is i call the recursive function okay and i go to the next index in i and j remains the same and s1 comma s2 is what i pass other than this the second choice that i have is that i call it recursively for i comma j plus 1 comma s1 comma s2 okay then what i do is i take the maximum i return the maximum out of these two choices so i return maximum of choice 1 comma choice 2 this is what i can do otherwise so let's quickly write this so let's compile this and see what happens when we some uh, like uh, does it get accepted on the normal case so it says that some compilation errors are there and definitely there are some errors so if uh, this is the same so so it seems to get on this uh, working on the samples but uh, still we'll get an issue when we submit this code so the issue will be that it will give us a time limit exceeded you can see that it is giving a time limit exceeded error. why because if we talk about the checking part so what is happening like basically we are drawing a recursive tree because if we are at i comma j one time we are going i plus one comma j and one time we are going i comma j plus one okay so basically if we are having if we are having suppose that we are having zero comma zero so then we are having uh, one comma zero okay index then we are having index uh, zero comma one then here we are having index two comma uh, two comma zero here we are having one comma one here we are having one comma one then here we will have uh, 0 comma 2 okay then similarly if we go down so it will be 3 comma 0 it will be nothing but 2 comma 1 
this would be 2 comma 1 this could be what 1 comma 2 this would be what 2 comma 1 this would be 1 comma 2 this would be nothing but 1 comma 2 this would be 0 comma 3 okay now this part once this part is done so we can observe that this state and this state is same so if a particular i comma j is already calculated then we are calculating it again and again as we do in terms of let's say fibonacci or other things so here you can see that a lot of recursive calls if they are already calculated then we will not calculate them again and again so for this we will declare a dp which will be of the size of the n cross m so we will declare it like this so we will have int dp of 1001 and 1001 okay then what we will do here is we will initialize all the states as minus 1 initially so before calling this so, so we will do memset like basically initializing every uh, index in this dp as minus 1 so I'm uh, I'm using C++ so I'm using memset here so I'll initialize everything as minus 1 you can also run a for i starts from 0 for i is less than 1000 and j starts from 0 j is less than 1000 and then you can initialize it so once it is initialized so we will check what we will check is before computing for the i i comma jth index we'll check if uh, dp of ij okay if the dp of ij is not equal to minus 1 so if it's not equal to minus 1 so that means it is already calculated if it's all if it is already calculated then I will simply return the calculated value. Otherwise, what I will do is otherwise I'll calculate it here and then store it and then return it. So I'll say that dp of ij is equal to this. And similarly, I'll say it here dp of ij is equal to this. I'll store it. Let us now try and compile it. Okay, so now it should get compiled. Okay, let us try and submit this code as well. So you can see that our submission was able to pass all the test cases here. So basically we have done what we have tried to find the longest palindromic subsequence because uh, why longest like uh, longest palindromic subsequence for the given string. So basically what we have done is we have for this we have found the uh, longest common subsequence between the string and its reverse that gives us the longest palindromic subsequence. Once we get that so we uh, decrease from the size of the string we decrease this LCS to get our final answer and for doing this since we were uh, doing it for all the indexes so it uh, like for both the strings so the order the time complexity would be order of n square and uh, for this problem and the space complexity would be order of n square as well because we are using dp in case if you understood this problem so make sure to comment down understood and give me a under uh, like uh, hit the like uh, to the video as well thank you